Hello, I'm David. And I'm Amanda. And welcome to our home. Come on in. Our story goes all the way back to the hallways of high school. We attended a small rural high school in an idyllic small town, the embodiment of the American dream. We met in world history class and became high school sweethearts. David was the star pitcher on the baseball team and I was the softball pitching ace. Our love continued to grow and flourish throughout college as we both became Boilermakers. David first, and then me two years later. Upon my graduating with my master's in engineering and Amanda with her bachelor's, we had a magical engagement straight out of Cinderella's dream. We enjoyed our horse-drawn carriage ride in the snow and then I got down on one knee and proposed. We have since been married 10 wonderful years and both of us have steady full-time careers we love. Amazing, humble, and compassionate describe the man that I love. David is first and foremost a Christian, and he has been so his entire life. He is a hardworking man, and he is compassionate and kind, and I think he will make a wonderful father. He is not a carpenter by trade, but learned much of it as we undertook the dream of building our new home. He is a handyman and fixes our cars, maintains our pool, gardens, and works in the yard around our home of three acres. As an engineer at Caterpillar, he has a good job that allows us to live our lives securely and would make a wonderful father. Some of Dave's hobbies include things like golfing and toy trains. As a child, David was able to play with a Lionel train that had been his father's as a toy. As an adult, he still loves that hobby of trains. He loves to be around children. The best example I can think of speaks to this, the fact that every time on the phone when we call, our nieces and nephews, the first thing they ask is, can we come see David? Or is David coming over? And I cannot wait to see all of the wonderful things that he's gonna be able to teach a child and all of those memories that children and fathers share together. My loving wife, Amanda, plays so many key roles in our family and in our community. At home, she's a wonderful cook and enjoys spending time in her big kitchen, preparing meals, and helps with canning foods and vegetables in our, from our garden. She's also very busy with her hobby, which is sewing. She loves to create special projects like baby diaper blankets and burp cloths and various sewing projects. She also likes spending time out in the yard, swimming, spending time with nephews and nieces and just spending time with our relatives, having, having fun, cookouts and things like that. In our community, she's very involved as a teacher. She's been a teacher now for over 10 years. Um, her subject is history. Amanda's just uh, all around very hardworking, very talented and creative. Um, one area that she has shown her creativity is in uh, building our, our house. Um, she helped uh, spec out all the materials for it and created a, a layout plan for it. So you can see she's also very big on uh, gardening and flowers and, and very creative in decorating our home. In our new home, Amanda has laid out a nursery with a new crib, dresser, and two kids room full of toys, stuffed animals, and books for children to read. Amanda would love the opportunity to greet a waking child in the morning with big loving hugs, kisses, and time together bonding. Family. This one word describes the essence of who we are. Family is the most important thing in our lives. It is a link to our past and a bridge to our future. As a link to our past, both David and I grew up in very large and loving families. I was the oldest of three, and our grandparents and parents were very involved. Grandparents came to every ball game and every school function. And even today, we live surrounded by our family. Looking to our future, our plan was to have children one day. However, that seemed to not be in the cards. We have run the mill of fertility treatments and feel that God is leading us down a different path. As such, we have decided that adoption is that path for us. We are so excited to be able to have a child in our home to be able to shower that love and affection that we both feel so deeply about. Family is so important to us and we cannot wait to be able to bring a child into this family and to see it grow and flourish and have a wonderful life. We hope and pray for the day that we can become parents and we can share the past of our child's story and the most difficult of life's decisions that a mother had to make. And so we leave you with a prayer. 
For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a bright hope and future. Jeremiah 29, 11. And thank you. Thank you.